Hi guys, I'm back with my new video where uh, I have told you that once I will install Macinto Hackintosh Catalina, I would literally go through the guy uh, through the process of how to use it more better. First of all, all the problem that you all guys would find that the internet would, don't won't works in most of the cases. Now, as you can see, my net is also working and almost my driver has been. Uh, uh, initialized by the Mac with a small hack but it doesn't work because since my graphics card is not a metal graphics card if you want to enjoy more better graphics and rich enhancement for your processing power you need a metal graphics card first of all I want to show you I'm using the same system that uh, I was using earlier I will quickly come up to the basics that what I have done to successfully install my web driver first so i would put you some files down in the description link below those files are the most essential files where you could find literally that you could download uh, uh, such files fast because these all files you would need to make your things work much better in your system so some files that you would need is kext utility file multi beast zip virtual smc this is the normal glitch file that would make any of your graphics card work but it doesn't make sure that you have the metal graphics card though so let me tell you some of the metal graphics cards available in the market one of the best is 1650 GTX is supportive metal graphics card then uh, uh, there are many uh, at the range of 3100 you would get GT 710 2 GB that is also a greatest metal graphics card so if you want to invest at very low price i would simply suggest you either go for any amd graphics card like rx 550 that would do or an any intel graphics card that would be very budget friendly for your cheap pocket that is 710 uh, gt 710 so once you would support the metal graphics card like i want to show you something because i have using a hack that uses uh, that will simply show my graphics but you can see it's saying graphics is unknown and still it's giving me 256 MB of the graphics so I won't enjoy some of the features that is more supportive so I'm finding an uh, alternate method that since I have got dual PCI Express in my motherboard so I would literally install one of these cheapest graphics card available in the market to enjoy the full flesh of the Mac operating system so Another major thing that you would get is the sound option. Yeah, you can see the sound is uh, very well installed. And uh, let me give you a trial that how is the sound quality. Sound quality is more than enough for me because uh, I'll give you some sound quality test over here. Sound quality is more than enough, you know, it's, it's great. Life's not fair, is it, my little friend? While some are born to feast. Others spend their lives in the dark. So talking about the sound quality. Begging for scraps. It's more than enough for you know for listening and everything. And then another thing is that the bit torrent you cannot access it. So now you can see I can very well access the bit torrent. I would also uh, give you the link to the BitTorrent web installer package if possible if not possible then I will give you simply drop down the uh, <coughs> uh, web link where you could simply install the YouTube uh, I mean uh, BitTorrent uh, web and uh, so these are the basic things that you would need and uh, one of the essential thing is this multi beast thing and how to use the multi beast i will simply give you some of the demonstration like just open your multi beast it will open wow take some time okay it does open okay first of all you need to select what type of ufi boot you are using if you please use the legacy boot the legacy boot will automatically install the clover boot menu where you would have fake smc and everything you know customize it's already written over there then drivers coming to drivers which drivers you have like i have uh, uh, one is universal voodoo driver and others are real tech so make sure you're using wood you, you don't use this at all because i uh, the text file i provided you over here uh, where does it goes yeah the text file you will find is uh, 
one is virtual SMCN release and all this so these are the things that uh, automatically activates your sound system if then also you won't act uh, unable to activate your sound system so I would say that you would go for universal voodoo sound that will automatically activate your uh, system then come to your disk utility there are many utilities that you could simply select in miscellaneous you have many things that you can fake about your computer if you have non supportive metal graphics card you could simply select one of these and try to reboot your system to see whatever type of uh, settings you are getting in your uh, graphics like I have did this something like uh, to fix up the <coughs> uh, my uh, graphics uh, system somehow I got this unknown uh, thing but it still it's giving me 256 MB uh, earlier I was getting just 16 uh, 7 MB of graphics menu so that would do for me and in the network if you make sure uh, to use this very carefully while using multi beast because uh, I am using an Intel network so it would be Intel mozzie internet obviously but if this doesn't works uh, I have given you already a zip file but you make sure you need uh, this thing to you need kext utility kext utility is a small utility where uh, you could uh, for uh, like you have to give your password after giving your password this uh, utility will run in a background you have to simply drag and drop all the kext files to make the activation process so <coughs> this is one of the best utility you can get and to know more about the kext utility you know some of their uh, they are not offering you the kext utility i am first I'm offering you the kext utility at you know free almost free yeah so these are some essential things once the process is run then you can you can see it's saying drag files or windows process them so you would need uh, different types of you know because these are kext files you need to drag and drop them once you extract them from the zip files so after doing this you need to reboot your computer and you would uh, I think you would simply go for that uh, the sound will also work the internet will also work and you could literally do something but when coming to multi beast multi beast is an operational window like you have to you know hit and run basis you have to test each and every settings and once you make the settings confirmation you just need to select the installation drive and just install it will install it then just simply reboot and hit and run trial basis that whether uh, the system that you're doing is running or not it's on you so <coughs> So this is a short uh, video, very short video indeed, but a uh, brief uh, demonstration that what I have done after installing uh, macOS Hackintosh Catalina. I suppose that these files would help you intently and if you, in case you are getting any troubles, feel free to like below the comments below and I would literally help you guys to work along with these files. So this is me signing off, till then, goodbye.